Thank you for watching Lazy Gaming Guys. Today's episode is brought to you by Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download and a 30 day free trial at www.audibletrials.com slash nerduppedia. Over 150,000 titles to choose from for your iPhone, Android, Kindle, and MP3 player. Hello everyone and welcome to Lazy Gaming Guys. We're starting a new Let's Play, Saints Row the Third. Yes. Thank Which is an awesome game. It's when the Saints Row series decided to get good. It's when they stopped. The Saints Row series decided to be good. Hey, I heard. Well, they stopped being a GTA clone. I heard the, the 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 first two were pretty good. It just was a GTA clone. Uh, I don't mind Saints Row. Yeah, I've heard. The, I've heard. Like Saints Row One, I didn't mind. Saints Row Two, you were just way too psychopathic in that game. So, well, Saints Row. Okay, what do you mean by psychopathic? Um, like. You'd have to watch the cutscenes, but you wait, are wait, really... Uh, wait, 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 what? Watch with the Star Wars tiled text, girl. Oh my god, I This is the beginning either. of the game. Okay, oh. and all expectations are thrown out the window. <laughs> this is... This is a great game. This is, like, one like, of my top game all time. Do shit. Well, <laughs> like, well, this is at the bottom. Oh, pretty much. Yeah, do shit. Huh. Yes. They have risen from humble beginnings to do shit. Yeah, the, 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 you know what? That sounds like the that sounds like the beginning of lazy gaming guys, doesn't it? <laughs> yep. <laughs> okay, I was, I was a bit dead. Yeah, I guess I guess uh, now I, if I ever do an origin stories for lazy gaming guys, I should go ahead and put like a text scroll, which is like we rose from nothing to do shit. Yes, we rose from the bowels of our couch. Yep. To do or nothing. No, I'm sorry, slightly less nothing. Slightly less of nothing. I hope you all like the color purple because that's what's going to be a lot of... Darn game. right, I'm going to be... Uh, when I start recording again, I'm going to be painting my car purple in this game. Why? Why? I have to represent the saints. Oh, dude, dude, that needs to get his ass whooped. <sighs> yes, that's Pierce. Uh, he was introduced in Saints Row 2. <gasps> what? And that is... That is Saints Flow Energy Drink. What? What the fuck? What? When did, when did this go, go black exploitation on people? Don't worry, it's just a commercial in the game. He uh, just no used a Hadouken. Oh no! 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 That Don't worry, it's a, Jap it's a Japanese commercial. Super excellent! <laughs> Super excellent! <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Oh my god, really? Easiest money you'll ever make. Uh, the girl here is Shondi. Right she was also introduced in Saints Row 2 no as basically just a pothead. I do my own stunts. Well, she's hey, Rose just along, man. Yeah. Well, yeah. Why yeah. does she have a voice thing? Oh, wait. She has a voice thing. Because they're about to rob a bank. If I'm going to play a scene, I will. And this, guy's, this guy's an actor. I got a He portrays I, I want one of those so I can do my Julian call with it Trust on. me, Berg. Do like an auto to Julian call. You're dressed like your oh, and they're all dressed like Johnny Gat, who, who is Johnny the Gatt. single greatest character in all of Saints Row. Let me guess, the person in the the person that just walked in the room is you, right? I'm yes. With the Saints movie, but walk in the room with the helmet already on, and then you create the character afterwards. Yes, yeah, so you create the character after this opening sequence. Oh my That's god. This that's why this episode's a little shorter, is because I go, went ahead and cut it at character creation. I also forget Sorry, to turn subtitles on before. Can we, uh, can we go again? Two, three-ish? Oh boy, he doesn't remember. Can I get a picture with the boss? So enjoy, everybody! Is... We will yeah, not be giving you the option to hear what's going on. Hey, nope. Don't be a dick. I'm sorry. Watch the Raws. Watch the Raws for the first two parts if you really want. I really recommend listening to this dialogue. It is fantastic. Did... did... Are, are the, whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa. This oh, that, bank, that bank is going to car. That bank is <laughs> Yeah. But Lord, what's the what's the requirement to be able to work at this bank? To own a freaking gun license? Do you have a gun license? NW, yes. The, the, you pass the NRA? on range test. Is it all? Is it owned by the NRA? Damn. I uh, like I, I would love to still work at that bank. Just like wait, 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 wait. If somebody comes in here to try and rob us, like a cabin nigga. Yes. <laughs> why do you have platform shoes? Because that's part of the. Why cost. did you? Why did you roll over the desk? What? What was the point of that? Because, because that is cutscene, my friend. Wow, really? Like, that was yeah. the shittiest desk roll ever. 
Yeah, you. No, you no have appreciative. No that was literally that pointless. Matter of fact, it made you more open to attack. Yes. And it didn't even look cool. No, it didn't. That was that was fucking pointless. Thank you, thank you, Saints Row Third, for that pointless answer we're seeing. Oh, and that actor plays Nightblade, who we'll find out later is a vampire reality show guy. Vampire reality show guy. Yeah, it's like a vampire soap opera. Vampire soap opera. You know, this what I don't get about. Like Buffy the Vampire Slayer and Angel meets like General Hospital. What the hell? What? <laughs> That's the that weirdest is freaking- that is the weirdest- that has got to be the weirdest fix I've ever heard in my life. Yeah, okay. it- it All is right. great. Yo, question. Now, hmm. uh, I just like really thought of something. Like, I can kind of see it with Saints Row, um, with Saints Row the 4th, because of- No, it's just Saints Row 4 after this. No, this four, is the only okay. one called the 3rd. Okay, so I can kind of see it with Saints Row 4, uh, four um, how you can, um... Uh, like how, how it can be a more satirical, more a comical version of GTA or a comedic like GTA, but like with this one, I'm not sure because GTA is already kind of comedic. Time to get to work. Uh, I mean, have you played GTA? Have you played the PS2 ver GTA game? GTA games? is basically like we take ourselves seriously, and that's about it. Oh, well, okay, fine. I guess with um, I guess with the older GTAs. Maybe because I know like I know GTA Five. I haven't played the old, the old, the old GTA in a very long time. I'm not talking just GTA like throwing jokes in either. I'm talking like the entire game point of the game is just to be satirical. All right. Well, yeah, I give you that. Although, what you call them? Um, GTA, uh, GTA Five. Well, well, actually, though, GTA has always been very uh, what's the word? Want me to sign your breasts? Ah, social, uh, uh, big on social commentary and making fun of, and making fun of social bar. Yeah, it is, man. They tried. Like, GTA, GTA, 5, GTA 5 brought it, like, like it's, it was it's really like a brought. kindergartner trying to be socially, you know. I'm sorry, I'm not really paying attention to their social satire while I'm blowing, while I'm blowing shit up. Well, we have to get the vault out somehow. I know you're talking about this game blowing shit. I'm all talking about, with, you know, uh, seriously. Why did we blow? Why? Why did they blow up? They get the. They get, get the. Get the wait, wait, wait! They're stealing the entire vault. Yes. So if they can't open the vault, <laughs> they couldn't open the vault. So they're just stealing the entire vault. This is ridiculous. Well, you know. You gotta get it somehow. You know, I'm going to spoil. I'm going to spoil this right now. But Scott, you're a girl, aren't you? Uh, my character, yes. Yes, because, I kind of guess. I guess. Uh, I so, love the voice. I love the voice options for female in this game over uh, the guys. You know, I, I want to mention that you, for a woman, you have very broad shoulders. Technically, you're ambiguous gender. Right? You're gender neutral. You are Namekian currently. But for a woman, oh, you have very big shoulders. People in the balls. Uh, I thought you two really had something there. Oh, don't even go there. But uh, right now, you just kill spot members. Also, that gun is kind of yeah. Cause I, like, the I, I gun is comically big. Is, all you need to do to beat SWAT. Like, thank you for thank you GTA the third. Not GTA the third. Thank wow. you, Saints Row the Third, for uh, teaching me how to deal with SWAT. Just if SWAT comes up to my house so for any reason, just walk up, punch him in the balls. Yep, that's how I deal with most enemies in this game, and man, and random civilians. I see. Oh. And I love one of the lines here, where it's just how long will the helicopter take? About twenty or so waves of people. Really? Yeah. Well, where, where is that at? Uh, it was a little ways back when. God, the, how much health do you have? In GTA, you would be fucking dead by this point. Oh, uh, you see the little red bar above my gun icon at the bottom right-hand corner? Oh, that. That is your health. Really? But then again, Josh, Seriously? GTA doesn't really involve you going asshole. in and just mowing down helicopters and. Yeah, the fuck it does. <laughs> that's oh, you can't block. Well, you can't shoot down the helicopter. That's that's, yeah. that's mostly in-game stuff though. But yes, it fucking does. Well, unless you have codes. And, and you can say, and if you don't, and if you don't do it, like you know, if you don't, like, like, be careful while doing this shit, you still will get your fucking like self killed by doing this, by, by doing it this way. Unless you know, I didn't, because I never played. Uh, I, I played all the way up to four, and at five, I couldn't care less. Go, go, go! Yep, that's fun. 
Uh, I couldn't care less after like San Andreas. I never even played Andreas. San Andreas is a fun game. Uh, I bad. I really like your G codes because I just I love I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, and this is a really terrible thing to admit, but I um I liked GTA when I was younger because it was more relatable to me than the other ones. Wow. That, I'm sorry, when I thought about black, 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 when I thought about gangsters and stuff and crime, I thought this about that This is what I want to be. I wasn't, oh. not that I wanted to be that, it's just that that's what I thought of, you know? And it was... Oh my god. What? Really? Were you looking for role models? I w no, hell no. Who the fuck would look for role models in goddamn GTA? I want to be just like Trevor you. when I grow up. Hell no. Oh, is it everybody? All, all, all I'm saying is, it's just like, like, that's like when I dealt with thugs and gangsters, those are the kind of people that I dealt with. I didn't deal with freaking mafia members and like sophisticated crime. I didn't deal with, deal with that shit. Well, Jock, because you didn't, because Jock, you don't live in freaking Whoa, Philadelphia or the areas where the mafia actually are at. Hey, that's basically Vice City was dealing with a lot of cartel. Because me and Scott, because me and Scott came from Florida, so the shit that happened in Miami makes sense to us. Yeah, you yeah see, I, I don't, I, I don't whole, relate to any of that shit. The thing in Vice City made perfect sense. No, oh, but Vice City was pretty much Miami Vice through the through the view of the villains. <laughs> Basically, Vice City is still one of the best uh, GTA games. Even though it's one, of, even though it can be considered one of the still part of the uglier ones. I think. Didn't you yeah. give me Vice City, Julian? Huh? Did you give me Vice City? I do not remember giving you anything. Well, I did not give you. I did not give you anything. No, you gave me a bunch of PS2 games, and Vice City was one of them because you didn't want it anymore. I don't remember that. I do not think it was me, because I never owned Vice City. I never oh, owned you have your game collection. I never owned a GTA game at all. I don't know. I, never I know. And owned it. I, I know I used to own it. Vice City for maybe, a while. Maybe Edmire gave it to me. I don't know. It might have been Edmire, because I never gave you any PS2 games. But yeah, uh, we so have PS2 destroyed. games, after I met you, I became a collector of my shit. So if I did that, so if I gave it to you, I want it back now. So yeah, back to what's going on with Gay, uh, we destroyed a helicopter. Yeah! I got a Oh yeah, <laughs> helicopter destruction. I love how, I love how manly your voice is too, even though it's no... It's the voice changer. You have one of those voice changers on, so... Yeah, but like, the other thing, your, your voice changer works so much better than everyone else, because you can just like, you can still hear everyone else's voices through it. It's kind of auto-tuned it. Yours literally completely changed your your gender, like like the, the the tone of your voice. That's the point. And this is the end of part one. Join us. Nothing. Part two. Nothing really happened except. Oh, uh, we went through the shit. entire intro mission. We and we blew up shit. All of, all successful first mission. Yeah. And it gets stranger from here, people. Yes, from here you'll see my custom character when we start in part two. Oh God, really? Anyway, see you see you guys later. Okay. Bye bye. See Thank you for watching Lazy Gaming, guys. This episode has been brought to you by, as always, Audible.com. Get a free audiobook download and a 30-day free trial by clicking on the link below. And check out our other friends at Nerd Up Media and some of our old videos. I hope you enjoy. See you guys next time.